name of Jesus, Father, I thank you, I honor you, I bless you, Lord Almighty. Lord, as I'm going to speak, Lord, open my mouth, Almighty, to teach your people. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 How to relay on, uh, on faith at times. The Bible says in the book of Hebrew chapter 1 verse 11. What is, does the Bible say? Scholars, Bible scholars. Hebrew 1 11. Okay, it's fine. Faith and now, if you are going to vote, have your faith too at all times. If you I want you to practice that, to, that. I want you to practice peace. And you can read from the book of Mark chapter 14. Or, uh, chapter 15 as well. No, ne Matthew 26 for you to have faith Amen. you have to have peace the bible says we are the peacemakers Amen. and blessed are the peacemakers for they are going to see God. Amen. I want you to lay your struggle before God. Before God. In your difficult times. The Bible says, Call me in the days of your troubles and I will hear you. The Lord uh, love those who have uh, broken hearts. For he is near them. I want you to rely on God as a supportive system. It can be your business. In your career. You with your talent. In your ministry. Students, those are uh, were in exam or you are finding yourself you are going to be in exam. Those who are in problems, marriage, marriage crisis. Eyes. That's why the Bible is saying, walk by faith, not by sight. I want you to know the difference between sight and faith. As a man as a woman, you have a choice to make. Whether you want to walk by faith, whether you want to walk by sight. Faith is believing that things will be well. Even when things are not well, faith is believing that you are healed, even though your body is sick. Faith is believing that your church is big, but in reality, the church can just occupy 60 people. The capacity. That, that's faith. And walking by sight, you are, you are walking according to your knowledge, your hormones, or whatsoever. What your bank is saying to you, what your bank is saying to you, what your marriage is saying to you, what your exam is saying to you, or what the doctor said to you, that's re the reality. I want you to maintain your faith at all times.